Uh, help me to usher in the man of God who has the message uh, for today. And uh, we thank God so much. Thank you. God bless you so much. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. God is good. And all the time. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to uh, glorify you, uh, our Father, glorify uh, the God Almighty, for he has given me a chance that I may start before you, uh, not to speak about uh, uh, finances, because most of the time that I've been here, I've been talking about the, the office of the finance, uh, but today is a different day. Uh, that the Lord has made for me, that I may start and share some things more uh, in the Bible. Uh, I give all the glory and all the honor to the Almighty Father for that. I also give thanks to uh, the leadership of the church, uh, my reverend, and uh, who has grown to be uh, a close friend to me and a confidant. I usually don't hide much when I'm discussing with him. Uh, and maybe for the few years that I've known him, maybe for the last four years or so, five years or so, uh, I, I believe he knows me so much because I don't like to hide behind the curtains. I like to speak my mind. Uh, thank you so much uh, because you did not tell me not to come and start before the congregants uh, because it's also good to realize uh, when I start here, uh, it's under your authority uh, that I'm here. Uh, and the last team that I want to give thanks to is uh, the men fellowship. Uh, today is our day. Where are our men today? All the men, glory be to God. Let's clap for men today. Uh, this is the way we are supposed to be coming the first service. We are so many. Uh, uh, can, can all the men start? Can all the men start? Uh, Reverend, you can see uh, this team is doing a good job. That's why we are here today. Uh, uh, did you hear any song today? The English one, not the, not the Kikuyu one that we are going to have the other time. I know we are going to have the Kikuyu one later in the day. But do you have the English one that we can be able to sing? A chorus. Uh, our brother who usually uh, uh, lead us with a small chorus. I know you can have a small chorus. A simple line. Because I don't have a lot of time. But it's also good for us to do something for, for the junior youth who will be here, who will be going, and maybe the people who are not going to be here uh, later in the day. Do you have somebody who can lead us with a small chorus? An English one. Water, English song. <laughs> An English song. I, I know we have prepared a Kikui one. Uh, God bless you as you take your seats. Uh, uh, I, I don't want to tell our, our sisters to start and sing for us. Uh, that will be a, another day. And, and that's why I, I'm excited to be here today. I'm excited to start before you today. Uh, uh, not because I am, I am, I am special, you know. Uh, not because uh, I am educated, no. Not because... Uh, I have what and what and what and what. No, 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 it's not about that. It's all about God. Uh, this morning, my name is Samuel Kimani Kamau. Uh, I'm born again. I am a father. I am a family man. Uh, my family, maybe you don't know them because they are not here. I have uh, daughters and I have, uh, I have three daughters and a son. Uh, that, that, that's who I am. That's, that's part and parcel of my history. Uh, that's part and parcel of, of, of the representation of a man in me, in, in, the, in the sanctuary. That I'm a father of one wife and, and I have children and I have, uh, 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 they, they are still in Nairobi. Uh, uh, and I thank God for it uh, because uh, this are uh, part of the issues uh, that the theme that we have this time is is keep speaking unto me that every time uh, I need something to be done in my life, uh, there is a way, there is a, there is a secret that I should first of all uh, seek God's kingdom 
And the things that I need and the things that I'm hoping for, the things that I'm praying for, uh, they will be added unto me. One of the things that I hope for uh, and believe in is a day is coming for us to be a family uh, and, and it will happen. It will happen. Uh, the path may be difficult and the path may not be there. Uh, the path may not, uh, it may be dark. Uh, the path may be dark. Uh, but if I believe and I trust in the Lord God and I do according to his will and according to his purpose, things will be well for me. I don't have to mind about those things. I don't have to mind about the road ahead of me. But I will mind about the one that called me. That's why I, have conf I am confident. Despite all the circumstances of life, I am confident about it. Uh, when I was told that I would be studying here and speaking the word, it was a little bit of a, of a, of a, of a um, co confusing uh, the way that it was done. Uh, but when it was done, I called upon the name of the Lord and I, I, I like to pray. I like to pray a lot. I like to pray a lot and a lot and to, uh, to praise the Lord uh, a lot. I like that. And when I was praying and uh, thinking about it, uh, I, I thought it's going to be very easy and simple for me to come and tell you something uh, that I've learned over the years. And much of it, because I've been an accountant and an auditor and a blah, blah, and a forensic auditor, blah, blah, all those kind of things, most of the things that I've done in my life, it has to do with the finances. So I thought, uh, this is another good day that the Lord has made that I may come and speak about the finances in biblical terms. Uh, and when I was, uh, uh, and it's true, I, I went and I, and I started doing the research that we do as, as, as a, when, you, when you want to come and represent something uh, in front of people, whether in the church or whatever, you have to do a research, you have to study, you have to go back to your books, you have to do so many things. And that's why uh, when, 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 when I went through all that and I was doing the study about, about, uh, about prudent financial management, uh, that was supposed to be my topic today. Uh, I was speaking in the church about prudent financial management. Uh, although although uh, it changed uh, when I reached somewhere to do with the savings and to do with the debts, to do, to do with, 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 with the way that we are supposed to do, uh, or we are supposed to do the budget thing and those kind of things. And when it came to the debt, uh, then the word of the Lord uh, really, really spoke to me clearly. Uh, about about what we read in our in our in our uh, first reading about Elisha and the widow, and I know those words uh, they are not new here in the church. Those words we've been taught about them from the day that we were born. When we were young, we were taught about it. When we grew up, we were taught about it. And even in this pulpit, the same words have been spoken not once, not twice. I can remember several times that the same words have been spoken. And when the words uh, kept coming, uh, I, I thought, oh, I, I thought I would be able to, di to, to divert and, 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 and at least uh, uh, try to fix it in a way uh, that it will fit about the financial management that I was thinking I'm going to speak about. Uh, and before uh, we, we continue with the word, uh, although the time is far much gone, I don't want to have a lot of introduction. Uh, one of the few things uh, uh, about the financial management, uh, the financial management, uh, or, or, or I, I believe, uh, or within my heart, it starts when, uh, when, as, when in everybody of us, it starts in our homes, it starts in our, in our, in our, in our institution, it starts in our businesses, it starts with. Whatever we, whatever we do with it, whatever we get, and one of the things that I was, uh, was fighting, uh, uh, and, and I thought our come is to urge uh, the members of the church uh, to take it seriously upon themselves, uh, that, that they will be able to manage themselves when it comes to their finances uh, by doing uh, so many things that I had listed, but I'm just going to mention as I move from there, uh, three of them. One uh, is the monthly budgets. Uh, as we are aware, uh, this country, we end up getting uh, two payments that we usually receive. Uh, and if you don't have budgets of, for your monthly, monthly income, 
what monthly income and expenditure, what usually happens is you have enough, you have money which is floating around. And that's why we continue to consume the money because it's available. Uh, the next thing that uh, uh, I could have spoken while it, not, but I know, I know one day, one time we will, we will talk about that. It's, it's about having a, a fixed deposit account. It's about having a contingency account that you are supposed to have. It's about dedicating yourself to the savings. Uh, because I have realized most of us here in America, we run what we call a current account. And current accounts don't really, really assist you so much uh, when it comes to savings. The only thing that you can do is that you can be able to, to give an instruction from the current account that every month a certain amount of money will be deposited or it will be gotten from uh, the current account to the savings account. And that way, you won't be able to be consuming a full amount of what you are getting. And the third one that I could have spoken about was about the planning, uh, which we are doing in the church, the planning that we have as a church, and as an institution, these are the same planning that you're supposed to have in your home. These are the same planning that you're supposed to have as a person. You're supposed to have those planning in your lives so that you can be able uh, to plan well uh, uh, for your finances. Those were the things that I wanted to speak about. Uh, and the word of the Lord uh, spoke to me about this woman who uh, everybody of us knows about. And uh, the issue that happened in her life uh, it's unfortunate uh, that the husband died and beside the husband dying whom I want to believe in my mind was basically lot, sort, of a, sort of a breadwinner. Because when you read the Bible, uh, when you read the verses that you have read, something is happening after the husband died. The debts that they had as a family the, our sister was not able to pay the installments according to the agreement. Uh, that, that tells me that the man in the house who happened to be a prophet, uh, some, of the, some of the versions of the Bible, they call him a prophet. The others call him a sons of the prophet. Uh, it depends with the version that you are reading. But he is a person who is in the mainstream of, of the belief. He is the person who is in the mainstream of the work of God. He is the person who, 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 who is doing, uh, 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 who, who is working for the betterment of the kingdom. And when he passed on, uh, 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 something difficult happened to the family. The breadwinner uh, uh, was removed from them. And when the breadwinner was removed from them, uh, they could not be able to continue servicing the debts that they had. Uh, the worst thing that can ever happen, and it has happened to many of us, especially back at home, especially when the economy has a problem, is that when you have a debt and the economy is disrupted, and the system that you use to get the resources is disrupted, what happens is you are not able to meet the obligations that you are required to meet. And this is what happened to this lady that she was not able to meet their obligations. And because during that time, during that time, it's not, it's not this time, you, can, you cannot do that. But during that time, if you have a debt and you are not able to pay, you are supposed to pay by yourself. You are supposed to be taken captive. You go become a slave. You go and serve until such a time that the debt will be over. And I am telling you, when you became a slave, it depended with the master. You can repay 10, 20 times. Uh, we, we, we have read in the Bible. We have, uh, we have, we have a person, uh, although he was not a slave, he labored for 14 years to get married. Uh, these are the things that I'm talking about. If you can, you can think about your life, that for 14 years you are going to, to, to work so that you can get married. That's a lot of time that you are doing the job. For, for, uh, that's a lot and a lot of time that you are going either to waste doing and waiting. And this is the same scenarios that we are having. Even, uh, 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 I'll throw it down a bit, even uh, people who build this country, much of them who came from Africa, uh, when they came here, they were not treated as human beings. They were treated as objects. They were treated 
uh, in fact, I have read uh, stories whereby uh, because a human being has the brains and he was able to decide for himself and he could learn a way, you are treated even worse than the animals. You are treated worse than even the oxes on the field. You are even treated worse than them. Because those oxes, they had the food. You yourself, you had to struggle. And again, because you have the brain, they knew that you can be able to decide on yourself. What was happening is when somebody becomes a slave, you will be, you'll be subjected to such kind of a torture so that you can go down to the levels that you never know anything above what you are being told by your master. And this is what is happening to this woman. It is an unfortunate situation for her. And she realizes that not only that I've lost my husband, now I am even losing my entire family. Because when my sons go, I am not sure they are going to come back. Because many have died in slavery. Many have died even in slavery that the, the, the devil has brought to our lives. Many have died in this journey because of the slavery that is introduced to us by the things that we go through. And she decided, this is enough for me. Why did she decide to? Why did she decide to go to the man of God? Why did she decide that? Uh, when we go to our, our theme for this year, I, I am trying to think, and, and, and I think I'm, I'm allowed to think, because I, I'm allowed, I'm blessed of the Lord, and I'm, I'm, I'm about to think uh, that uh, this woman had something. She had something in her, he, she had hidden something. She knew, he, she knew in times of trouble, where am I supposed to go? She realized that this, this, is, this is it. I have to do something about it. I have to do something about it. And the only way I can be able to sort these things out is to go to the Father, is to go to the King of Kings, is to go and present my Christ to the King of Kings. And, and when I was, I was going through this, it's like, uh, it's like uh, our brother Elisha uh, is being requited with, with, with authority from God. He's being requited like, a, like, like, like Christ in a way. Christ, Christ who you can see it in a way there. Because when, uh, when this woman decided uh, uh, there, is, there, is, there is a way, there is no way that I can be able to handle these things and I'm, going to, I'm not going to lose everything. She decided in her heart, now I'm going to go to the, to the servant of God. Whatever, she, whatever he's going to say, I, I, I'll be glad with it. Why, 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 why would she go there? She only go there because she had something on her heart. She can only go there because she believed in God. She can only go there because previously, as we are aware, she is a wife of a prophet. So previously, she has been trained. She has been equipped. She has been equipped about the kingdom. She knew about the kingdom. She knew uh, about the leadership of the of the of the of the time, she knew about Elisha. She knew she 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 understood. So when she went there, she was not going to go there uh, uh, doubting that it can be uh, that it, that something can be done. No, she trusted that something is going to happen through the servant of the Most High God, and that's how he that's how he, she ended up there. And when she went there. Uh, the conversation was, was, was rather intriguing to me. When she went there, one of the things that the servant of God, that, 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 that this, uh, this woman said was, uh, she gave the explanation of what has happened, uh, but there is something that she said about her husband. Uh, and, and that's something that we men uh, uh, need to cherish. Uh, that's something that we men need to be careful about. Because when she went there, she said something about her husband. The servant. You know you are a servant. You know he was a faithful man. You know he revered God. You know, you know so many things about him. You know he was serving with you. Because we can, we, we can read so many places where, where, where the prophets were 
in a theme and they were prophesying. The, the sons of men, the 300 of them who are, who, are, who are prophesying and telling Elisha that today your master is being taken away. Do you know about it? We can read that in the Bible and you can see about that. And, and that's why, why, why uh, I, I think the, the widow, this lady, this wife had known about all that. She was far much equipped to know that in the times of trouble, we have a God in heaven. She was equipped such a way that even when the trouble was so much, she knew where to take the, all the problems. And this morning, I wish to remind you again about our theme that we need in our hearts to keep seeking, to keep being equipped. Because if we seek the kingdom of God, what happens to us is that we get equipped for the work ahead of us. We get equipped for the journey ahead of us. We got equipped to do the will of our Father. We got equipped to fight uh, the enemy who, who the Bible says is roaming like a hungry lion, wanting to devour them that are weak. We, can, we get equipped for that. We get equipped to work without complaining. We get equipped to do the will of our Father. And when you are equipped, when the trouble comes, you don't have to go and looking for, for solution because you know where the solution is. When a time comes and the trouble is going to come, this world trouble will always be on the way. Because this is a journey that you are taking, there will always be valleys, there will always be mountains, there will always be portals on the way. When the trouble comes, you have something on yourself that you know where to go when the trouble comes. And this is what my word today, the, 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 the word of the Lord today. That we need to be equipped so many, so many times. We need to, we need, we need to study the word. We need to, we need to be equipped for the journey that we are going. And because of my time should be, is very short. Uh, in the in the book of John 5:18, we we find a man who has been sick for the last 38. He was paraplegic. We call them that here. Or he was paralyzed. He was disabled. He was he was in that condition for 38 years. Those are years that can make you hopeless. Those are years that you can, like, can make you lose hope. Those are the years that you can, you can give up. Those are the years that, really, that eight years is a lot of years. And the word says that he was near uh, uh, the pool, uh, beside a pool or somewhere. That pool, uh, and there were so many people around there. The afflicted, the sick, the dying, the dead were around that place because where there are so many people who have been brought up by their families there, uh, uh, they, the possibility of the edge of your life is there. And that's what was happening to him. Uh, and when he was there, when he was there, he met Jesus. When he was there, he met the, kings, the king of kings. When he was there, his salvation was found. When he was there, Waiting for many years, holding to the hope, holding to the, to the hope of salvation, the salvation found him there. My brothers and my sisters, I am urging you this morning, let's hold steadfast to our faith. Let's allow, uh, allow our lives to be, to be, to be, let's allow uh, uh, our, 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 the training that comes from the word of God to be, to be abundant in our lives. Let's allow uh, uh, in this journey, let's allow to be, to be, to be instructed. Because there are, there are many times that we, 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 we don't follow the instructions. If I go back to the lady, she was told, go and borrow the jars, close the door, Close the door, and when everything was done, because the instructions were not accomplished, now she had the oil, but she did not know what to do with the oil. Maybe the oil, in a miraculous way, could have been changed to something else, to money or something. She had to go and consult for the man of God. Now, what do I do? And she was told to do A, B, C, D. Uh, when you follow, follow, if you read uh, the, the, the verses I'm reading about this man, uh, when they, they met again with Jesus, he was given the instruction, just take your mat and go. And he did that, and he was healed. Uh, when they met again, they did not meet again on the streets. The 
they were not on the streets. They were not in a bus. They were not in a camel or a camel or a donkey, which was used those days. They met well. Where did these people? To, where did Jesus and this uh, the, the the man who was healed met? They met in a in a is it a synagogue? They met in a temple. Thank you, thank you so much. I, I see that you are attentive. They met in a temple, and when they met in a temple, uh, they talked about the way forward. The way forward was stop sinning. The woman way forward was thank you that you knew about us. Go and sell. And after you sell, go and pay the person. After you pay the person, the remaining oil, you can live by it. I, I don't know the quantity because living by it, it means even the other needs that you had. They were met because the need, first of all, was about the death. But now, after this, the other needs were met through the oil that she sold. My brothers and my sisters, let's remain in the sanctuary of the Lord. Even when the days of trouble comes, we will have something to offer. Even that, let's remain in the house of the Lord uh, for all days of our life and everything else that we require in our lives, it will be added unto us. Uh, may we be studying because of the time. God bless you so much for listening to me. I, I give all the thanks and glory for, uh, to God for you. Thank you so much.